Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be going over how to create a machine learning model in TensorFlow and then port that model over to Core ML so that we can use it in our Swift application. Okay, so first things first, let's just define our model in TensorFlow. So to do this, I'm going to make a folder called um, ML for machine learning and just CD inside there. And then I'm going to make a file named create ML model.py. So inside of here, we're going to need two libraries. The first one is TensorFlow. And there's plenty of tutorials on how to install these two. It's pretty pretty easy. Just pip install TensorFlow and also core ML tools. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is define our training data. And for this model, we're going to make it uh, pretty simple. We're just going to do a simple regression um, where the x is, um, where we have some x value, and then our corresponding y value is just the x value doubled. So for our x train, let's just do i for i in range 1000. So this will give us numbers 1 through 1000. And then we want the y train to be 2 times i for i in x train. So for each number in x train, just make that number doubled. Okay, so now for a model. We can do model equals tf.keras. This is the um, neural network library for that comes with TensorFlow. tf.keras.models sequential. So this allows us to create a neural network. And then we want to do model.add. We're going to add a layer. tf.keras.layers. And then we want a dense layer with units equal to 1. And then finally, model.compile. We need to pass in an optimizer. For this, I'll do tf.keras, optimizers, and then we can use the atom optimizer. And then finally, for the loss function, we can just do loss equals tf.keras.losses, and then we can do mean absolute error. Now, this isn't really meant to be an in-depth machine learning tutorial, but all you need to know is that this model will multiply each of our x trains by 2. Or will, I guess, make the connection, not really multiply, but uh, connect the two. Okay, and then we can do, just to make sure that this works, or first let's do model.fit x equals x train. We need to fit our training data. Uh, y equals y train. And then the number of epochs, we'll just set that to 300. And then finally, to make sure that this model works, we'll just do model.predict 100. And if our model is working, um, this should give us a value of around 200. It won't be exactly 200, but it should be around 200. And then finally, let's save this model. So we want to convert this model to a core ML model. And to do that, we can just do ML model equals ct convert and then we need to pass in our tensorflow model and then finally we can just do ml model dot save and we can name this I'll name it multiply by two dot ml model okay everything is looking pretty good uh, there shouldn't be any errors but if there are we'll see in a second Python 3, create ml model.py. And this should be loading TensorFlow, and then it will train our model for us. Good, so we're minimizing our loss, so we know that we're doing a good job. We defined our model correctly. Perfect. So uh, you, you can see at the end, we see this little chunk of code right here, or I guess output. This is telling us that our uh, model was correctly converted. And if we check, we can actually see, yep, multiply by two dot ML model is present. So let's first move this uh, multiply by two ML model to our desktop. 
Okay, and then we're going to jump over into Xcode and actually create a new project. Um, for this, we'll just use app, product name, we'll just say test M core ML. And then Swift UI for the interface and the language is using Swift UI as well. Or sorry, Swift. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so now that we're in here, let's drag and drop our model that we moved to our desktop into our project. Just drag it in there, press finish. Then if we actually look at this, we can uh, see some information. So the first thing we see is it, it's made a class for us, uh, automatically generated Swift model class called multiply by two. So that's how we're gonna interface with our code. And then uh, another important thing is to look in predictions, right? We have input. So we have a dense input. It takes a multi-array of float 32, one by one, and it outputs an identity, which is a multi-array of float 32. So we're gonna be interfacing with these two uh, once we get into our actual code. So let's actually do that. So the first thing we want to do is make two variables. We'll do private, or sorry, state private var. We'll just say input number and we can set that to zero. State private var output number, set that to zero as well. Inside of the body, we'll add a vstack. And in here, we'll put a text field. Maybe enter a number. So for the text field, we're going to do it like this. So we're going to say value equals input number. And then we're going to have a formatter, which is just a number formatter. Sweet. Okay, next thing, we want to have a text field that shows us our output number. So we can just do string of output number. And then finally, we're going to have a button, which will just say multiply by two. And we'll pass a closure at the end that'll just say output number equals, uh, let's actually define our function down here. Let's do func multiply by two, some number, that's an integer, it's gonna yield an integer, equals multiply by two of input number. Perfect. So inside our multiply by two function, uh, let's, def let's first initialize our model, right? Um, as you can see over here, our class is named multiply by two, so we can pretty much use that wherever we like. Let model equals multiply by two. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to initialize, um, as you can see over here, a multi-array float 32 uh, one by one. So this is how we're gonna actually pass data into our model. It's gonna be through an, a dense input and then we'll receive it an identity. So let's first define that multi-array float32 type. To do that, we can do guardlet. Let's just say tensor input equals try. And we're just going to say ML multi, oops, what's it, multi array? Oops, we have to import uh, core ML up here first. We should do that. We want this to be ML multi array, right? Of shape. Our shape is going to be one, and our data type is going to be float 32. 
Okay, and then we'll add our else. We'll just say fatal error. Could not create um, tensor input. Okay, so if this succeeds, then we can actually set this temper tensor input um, the zeroth element to our number. But before we do that, we need to actually declare this as an ns number and say value number. And it wouldn't hurt to also cast this to a float32 just because we defined our data type as float32 up here. Okay, now we're going to actually get into our prediction. So we'll add a try block, or actually, sorry, a do, I'm still a little new to Swift, a do catch block. And then inside here, we'll say let prediction equals try model.predict. And then if we look back at our multiplied by two, we're passing into a dense input uh, field. So we can say dense input, and we can just say tensor input right here. And this is model.prediction, not predict. Okay, let's actually spell this right. Okay, so if that, if that works, then let's just return prediction dot identity, right? We're getting our output inside of a uh, multi an identity field with multi-array of float32. So we can do identity of zero, that's gonna give us our element, and then we can do int value. That'll give us the integer value. Otherwise, we will just throw another fatal error and just say could not make prediction. So with that being said, that should be all we really need, assuming everything um, goes to plan. Let's check to make sure if this is working. All right, so now that it's loaded in, let's just go into a live preview and see how this works. In case we can input a number right here. Let's just pass in 1,000 and multiply by two. And the preview crashed, great. Great, what did I do wrong? Let's see what I did wrong. So I think actually this needs to be one comma one for the shape. Um, if we look over here and multiply by two, you can see that the shape is defined as one by one. So I did that incorrectly. Um, but this should be good now. Uh, once this preview finishes loading, we can give it a test. But this should be good. Okay. Um, let's enter a thousand again. Multiply by two. See, two thousand. Sweet. Uh, Three thousand, six thousand and one. So you can see that our model is actually a little bit incorrect there. Um, let's try six thousand. Yep, twelve thousand three. So you can see that there's still some imperfection in our model, and obviously that makes sense, right? We didn't get to zero loss, and it is pretty hard to get to zero loss in most machine learning instances. But for these smaller inputs, we're pretty much golden. Um, so guys, yeah, take this uh, tutorial, create your own machine learning models, and uh, try it out in Swift. And uh, I guess unlock the power of AI. We're in a new day. You know, there's a lot of te technological advancement ahead of us. And uh, I'm just here for the ride with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great one.